Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Linda Linda See Me here. Today, we're getting straight into it. I've been seeing a lot of self-care, hygiene, routine, skincare routine, all of that routine. But I wanted to switch it up a little bit and take you guys back. Actually share some product recommendations for those purposes. So if you're a self-care girly, you like a skincare routine, you like a shower routine, you like an everything shower, you just want to relax and use good feel products, both for your body and your skin. I have some products that I have have ran through and finished that I want to share with you guys and let you know if it's worth buying or not. I've got my empties here. I keep all my empties here. Let's start off in no particular order. So this is one of my favorite cleansers of all time, like all time. Salicylic acid cleanser from The Inky List. Like I love this down. If you're not using this, you are missing out. I use this just before my period, on my period and after my period, basically three months of three weeks of the month because it's very good at exfoliating and getting rid of dead skin cells and also going in deep into your pores and removing all the gunk and junk from your skin. Absolutely love this down, it's worth the purchase and it's affordable, who doesn't like affordable things? I know I do. Next we have these Dr. Dennis Gross Universal, Universal Daily Peel. These are goated, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like these, I feel like it gives you like an at home chemical peel but obviously with no peeling at all and I'm someone who's always been afraid of like peels, chemical things and all that kind of stuff but this is like a lesser version of that and if you're someone who's never done a chemical peel or any peel of that sort I recommend trying these out for a few weeks and seeing how it works on your skin. These are perfect again for exfoliating, removing dead skin cells, basically like an AHA, BHA which is perfect if you have textured skin, if you have um, hyperpigmentation, you need to exfoliate your skin. Definitely get this if you have not tried it out yet. <sighs> Next, we have a male mainly do it. We have the Aveeno Skin Relief Body Oil Spray. Like, guys, when I tell you this spray, this oil, just makes me feel so luxurious. The way it smells, it smells expensive in my opinion. It's got oats, which is a very soothing property. Oats is very good if you have very sensitive skin. This oil just makes your skin feel so smooth, so radiant, very glossy and just luxurious feeling and very soft. I have run through so many of these bottles. It's got jojoba oil as well, which basically intensely moisturizes your skin and smooths your skin. I just, after a shower, I don't use it every day because baby, I live in Sweden, I couldn't get it at the time, but now it's available in our pharmacy. We couldn't get them for a long time, so I used to go to the UK and stock up and bring them back. So yeah, I love this oil, definitely worth it from me. I wanna find out new oils. If you guys have some oil recommendations for the body, let me know. Sticking with body and cream care, I've got the Nivea cream. Oh, I've finished so many of these, like. This is standard. This is an oldie but a goodie. It just does the job. It gets the job done. I use this on my hands. I don't use it on my body. Personally, I think it's not thick enough for my body or moisture. It's thick, but it's not moisturizing enough and it doesn't keep the moisture in. It doesn't seal the moisture in as much as I would like it on my body. But with my hands, I find that it works really, really well. Definitely worth the buy. Something to have in your bag when you need hand cream. Perfect. Sticking with Nivea. Next, we have this. Terry Blossom and Jojoba Oil from Nivea and this one I would say was okay it wasn't moisturizing for me it was too thin and runny I feel like if you have dry skin all over your body your hands like I don't think this is a good moisturizer because it's too thin it's too watery it's too runny it does smell great I will give I will give the product some hype as well it does smell great but if you're someone who has dry skin and you want actual moisture I don't think this is the one for you. I feel like this one is just for this. This one you would use just for the smell and it would be good to layer with another like sealing thick moisturizer on top of it. So this could be like, as soon as you get out of the shower, you've done your like shower routine, then you come out, you can use this and then use another sealant on top, like a thick moisturizer or oil. I think that would be better. Using this on its own wasn't it for me. This is the Caring Bath Almond Cream with Hibiscus. It's mainly supposed to be used in the bath to get your bath soaps and your leathers and all that stuff but i use it in the shower i barely take baths i take showers all the time every day i just don't baths i just find them quite unless i'm like having like an unwind candle lit kind of vibe i tend not to use the bath anyway this one smells absolutely amazing i love the smell i love the thickness i love how this lathers in the bath oh my god i love how dove products lather like the lather on a shower gel or a bath soap 
is super important. That will determine if you're gonna have a super leathery bath or shower. So I love this, definitely recommend it for sure. And it's also quite inexpensive as well, I believe. Next, we have the Dove Body Love Glowing Care Body Lotion. Let's smell it. Can't remember smell. Okay, this one was okay. Again, it kind of reminds me of the Nivea one. I feel like you should use it after your shower and then top it off with another body oil or body cream that's thicker these run quite runny and this one was a lot thicker than the nivea one but still not as moisturizing as i would want it would i buy it again probably not you can't tell me that you are a self-care shower routine all thing everyday shower routine girly and you've never used shiver like on your body after your shower so this is what i mean with sealant this would be a perfect sealant after after using those two creams the dove and the nivea this would be perfect to go all over your body now need i say more sheer, sheer butter is just that b sheer butter is perfect for your hair perfect for your body it's perfect for your face i personally don't use it for my face because my face is very sensitive it locks in moisture it seals in moisture very well all around perfect cream i use it as a sealant for my hair i use it for my body i use it for my hands just not my face love it love it love it and it's inexpensive next we have the acne.org benzoyl peroxide 2.5 percent this i will never stop talking about if you follow me on TikTok, if you follow me on YouTube, I've talked about this a lot and I will continue to talk about this until thy kingdom come. It's just one of the main ingredients and one of the key products that cleared my acne. I have a acne journey video. I have acne, how I cleared my acne video coming up soon. Um, I also have loads of playlists and loads of videos in that playlist on my TikTok to check out. But this was the main ingredient and the main product that cleared my acne. If you have acne and you haven't tried benzoyl peroxide, I urge you to try benzoyl peroxide. Start low, 2.5% is perfect for you. Don't go up to 5% yet. Start at 2.5. Watch how your skin clears drastically. You have to be careful though. This one is quite drying. So in the beginning of your journey, I'll say to use like a pea size amount and then increase your usage. But this is the goat. This has saved my life. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Benzoyl peroxide has saved my life. It's given me confidence. It's just changed how I look because I was so insecure. But when I use this, my skin cleared. Now I'm not saying that I'm fully like acne free forever. No, I still have scarring. I still get spots here and there during my period. Pretty much every day I get a breakout, but it's not breakouts. It's a breakout. It's not breakouts it's a breakout you know so definitely get you some benzoyl peroxide if you haven't tried it yet speaking of dark marks and hyperpigmentation this <laughs> let me show you guys this rapid dark spot correcting serum from murad is amazing like i noticed such an improvement within 30 days of using this i know some people you want to see quick 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 results quick 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 results but sometimes you do have to be patient. And I think 30 days is actually fine. Like, I think it's genuinely okay because we have skin cycles. I don't know if you know this, but every 28 days our skin renews itself. So if you're gonna use a product, at least test it out for a month. You know, you can't be doing, oh, I only use it for about a week and it didn't work. Baby girl, let's see, let's really test it out. Now this is amazing for hyperpigmentation, for acne scarring, post-inflammation scarring, for um, any sort of pigmentation left behind on your skin from some sort of trauma on your skin, whether that's a spot, whether that's a scar, whether that's a scab or anything like that, this will clear it up. Like, you have to be consistent though. And it's expensive, honey. Oh my God. Let's not talk about the price. Mira, you wanna hook your girl up? I love this product and I highly, highly recommend it if you're someone with hyperpigmentation, scarring, um this is amazing and then we have some simple products y'all know i love simple and um, we have the simple moisturizing facial wash again if you're part of the flick community you know i've been raving about this cleanser for years now about three years love this cleanser it's moisturizing it doesn't leave my skin dry and feeling stripped of all the moisture it has it's amazing simple easy does the job never broken out from it love it definitely worth the buy then we have the replenishing rich moisturizer i have two of these in my empties and i absolutely recommend if you're a girly who has sensitive skin you just want something simple it's in the name simple is the best brand for simple skincare like it just gets the job done i've never heard anyone break out from simple in my life like ever if you have please let me know but these products work so amazing perfect to use together of course 
then we have the micellar cleansing water i did not like this at all it was just dragging my skin like you know when you put your cleansing oil or cleansing water on a pad and then you like wipe your skin this one was like dragging on my skin and tugging at my skin did not like it at all so i personally wouldn't recommend this i find that the garnier one is so much better and i always go back to my garnier micellar water it's the best and I used the one with the pink uh, pink top because the other ones I don't like. Especially the ones that is like half water and half like oil. Mm. Me can. Let's, let's scurry on. Ah, oh, snail mousse in. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. This is an essence from Cosrx. It's the Advanced Snail 96. Mucin Power Essence. Again, from Cosrx, worth every coin, every penny. Leaves my skin hydrated, I love it. It's just, it just hydrates my skin, like I love it. I don't think it works for like discoloration or anything like that or hyperpigmentation, I haven't noticed anything there. So it keeps the skin smooth, it keeps the skin moisturized. I love using this with the all-in-one cream from the same brand. Unfortunately, I don't have the product empty here, but I have used it many, many times. Now on to some other bits, some makeup bits. Born This Way Foundation in the color Chai. The same as Jackie Aina, I believe. I believe she's in, in the color Chai, I believe. Love this foundation down. I still haven't repurchased it, but I feel like it's perfect for like a full coverage, even medium coverage. If you've got someone, if you're someone who has clear skin and you don't really worry about breakouts, perfect for you. Also, if you're someone who has acne prone hyperpigmentation scarring prone skin this is perfect because you can layer it and add more coverage love this foundation down i absolutely recommend it then we have one of my favorite concealers and concealer colors this is the best skin ever high coverage concealer natural finish from sephora i love this color i'm in the color 46 and the coverage is amazing i believe it's more of a medium coverage than a natural coverage like lightweight love this under my eyes this is like my close to skin shade color if i want a bright under eye i would of course use a brighter concealer but i tend to use this on my natural no makeup makeup days um i love this down definitely recommend then we have the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray i bought the lit one because i wanted to test it out i was hearing so much about it i really like it i think it's perfect when you finish your makeup i think it's a great finisher will i say it's long lasting i don't think so but i think it leaves the skin looking flawless like it is in the name yeah. we have the rituals by Saki rituals of sakura Flo flourishing hair and body mist it's smells amazing i have this perfume version of the spray perfect for your bag perfect for traveling and it's just it's not long lasting at all like it's just a spritz does the job quick quick spray within 10 minutes it will be gone like it's a spritz what do you expect eau de parfum lasts a very long time then we have this victoria's secret midnight bloom spray i absolutely love oh this scent oh it smells amazing still have some left fighting for dear life Mm. oh it smells so refreshing i love using this after i come out of the shower when i put all my lotions on my oils and just spray it and i've got my pjs on just spray this put my bonnet on put like a nice candle on a nice series or a nice film and just cuddle with my hands love this down it's so amazing and it's quite affordable this was 15 pounds um i don't know if they still do it because this was a while ago that i got this i actually got this as a birthday present from a friend love it sticking with fragrances i have this one it's like an aphrodisiac pheromones kind of spray now i didn't buy it for the pheromone purposes i just thought it smelled amazing this one smells quite dark sexy elegant yeah dark sexy elegant i'll say really quickly we have bonding glue if you don't know what this is get to know i've been missing it i've been missing it i've been using my duo and i'm so sorry bonding glue is the best i feel like it does the job times two and doesn't rip out my lashes like i feel like this just does the, it has the right kind of hold i love bonding glue i mean if you're not using bonding glue for your eyelashes that's on you last but definitely not least it's vaseline you guys all know how vaseline looks like so i'm not gonna bother putting it up on the screen vaseline is great for the body it's great for the lips i use it mainly for the lips and my hands it's a great sealant if you're someone who likes slugging if you're someone who does your skincare and just wants everything to seal in vaseline is great for that aquaphor is great for that um i've run out of mine so yeah 
absolutely recommend Vaseline. Really great moisturizer, I'm not gonna lie. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that was all for me today. Let me know if you have any recommendations for me in the comments. I would love to know. I'm someone who loves skincare products body care products, just products in general. I'm a product junkie. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Again, give me some recommendations down below. I hope to see you in my next video. Ciao.